a surgeon by training, but innovator at heart. Before Duke and US, I was an engineer. Uh, I was trained in bioengineering. I've always liked to work with my hands. So when I was in surgery, we used a lot of devices. I really wanted to improve them and come up with my own devices to help my patients. I decided to take a year off to do this uh, program called the Singapore Stanford Bio Design. A whole aim is to teach us how to actually innovate, invent your own devices and hopefully spin off a medical device startup. When we were in Stanford, we saw a lot of patients who came in for hemorrhoids with symptoms of bleeding and pain. We realised that they really wanted something that they could treat themselves at home. Insta Leaf was a mechanical solution. It's really to improve their um, quality of life. I always believe that if you actually come up with a very good device, um, something that actually treats a big problem, a big market size, you can actually help millions of people at a time. So the driving force really, as I said, is always the patience. Every time I see a big problem that, and the solution is not good enough, it, I, I kind of like go crazy and like keep asking, like, what's the main problem? Why is it that this procedure or the medications that we're giving is not, not helping? Um, and then uh, constantly just asking questions and always being curious is good. You are most creative and most unbiased where you're not trained in. You actually innovate in space outside of your specialty. You come in with a total fresh mind. Then you see other people doing what we've been taught all the time. And then you realize, hey, there's a, there, there may be a, a better way to do this. Think out of the box and not just spend your whole time in the operating room and uh, in the wards. So going back to the question, I'm a surgeon by training and innovator at heart. And I wouldn't be where I am without Duke and US.